Hello friends, this video on mensuration part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about trapezium, trapezium is again a type of quadrilateral. Now let us try to discuss more about a quadrilateral in general because we have learned about rectangles which is again a quadrilateral. We have also learned about squares which is again a quadrilateral. But quadrilateral in general exists in many objects that we see around us which necessarily might not be a square or a rectangle or a trapezium or even a parallelogram. So you look at so many objects and they are all quadrilateral. So we should have uh, some way to find out the area or perimeter of any generic quadrilateral irrespective of which type of quadrilateral it is. So here we will look at a general quadrilateral. So we are not talking about any specific type of quadrilateral but a very general one. So how do we define a quadrilateral? So it is a polygon with four sides. So any polygon with four sides is a quadrilateral. So here in this case A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. So let us learn how do we find out the area of a general quadrilateral. So here we have A, B, C, D as the quadrilateral. So, so the first thing that we would do is we draw a diagonal. So let us say we draw the diagonal B, D. So join the two opposite vertices B and D and you get the diagonal B, D. So what did we do by drawing this diagonal BD? The moment we draw the diagonal, we are able to divide the quadrilateral into two triangles. So now we have two triangles. One is ABD and the other one is BCD. So with this diagonal, we were able to divide the quadrilateral into triangle ABD and triangle BDC. And this method of uh, dividing a quadrilateral into triangles is often termed as triangulation. And this triangulation tremendously helps in calculating area. Okay, so now let's see what do we do. So here the area of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D will now be equal to the area of triangle A, B, D plus the area of triangle B, D, C. Now let us try to find out the area of these two triangles. So area of triangle A, B, D will be equal to half into base into height. So for triangle A, B, D, if base is B, D, then what would be the height? Height would be perpendicular drawn from A on B, D. So let us call this point as E and let us assume that this height is H1. So therefore the area would be half into BD into AE. Now in a similar way if we want to find out the area of triangle BDC that would all again be equal to half into base which is BD into height. So height would be the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex which is C on BD. And let us call this point as F and let's assume that this height is H2 because this is a generic quadrilateral so we do not know if H1 H2 they are equal or not so we assume that nothing is equal so we just say this is H1 this is H2 so in this case the height would be CF so therefore the area of the quadrilateral ABCD will be equal to half into BD into AE plus half into BD into CF. So if you compare these two terms then you see that half into BD is common and then inside the bracket you have AE plus CF. So this can be written as half into BD. What is BD? BD is the diagonal and what is AE? AE is H1 and CF is H2. So basically we find that area of any general quadrilateral is equal to half into product of the diagonal with the sum of the heights. So area of any general uh, quadrilateral is equal to half into diagonal into sum of altitudes on the diagonal. Now make sure that these altitudes or these heights 
are the perpendiculars which are drawn on the diagonal from the opposite vertices. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.